Hi everyone. In this part, we are going to look at uh, finding the area between two curves. We have two cases. The first case, if you have if you have an area something like this. Let's say we have y equals g of x and y equals f of x okay x is from x is from a to b okay if we have this case, the area between f of x and g of x is equal to, the area is equal to, integral from a to b, upper function minus lower function, that is, f of x minus g of x, upper function minus lower function the integral from a to b dx and as you see x is in between a and b this is the first case what about the second case in the second case we have a function like this let's say this is x equals g of y g of y and x equals the other one x equals f of y okay so what is the area between f of y and g of y y is from c to d y is from c to d okay so the area between f of y and g of y is equal to integral from c to d right function minus left function right function f of y minus left function g of y and integral with respect to y okay so we have two formulas to find area between two curves so let's solve some problems. The first problem, determine the area below f of x, which is given by a parabola, 3 plus 2x minus x squared, and above the x-axis. The aim is to find this area. Okay, from the formula which is given above. Okay, how do we find intercepts? Let me give this. 3 plus... 2x minus x square is equal to 0 gives the intercept of x so this means x is either minus 1 or 3 so the area is equal to the area is equal to upper function the upper function which is integral of course from minus 1 to 3 from minus 1 to 3 upper function which is f of x 3 plus 2x minus x square minus lower function lower function is actually y equals 0 x axis so I do not write this one and as you see it's very easy to compute this integral the result is 32 over 3 okay so the next example, determine the area of the region enclosed by the parabola x square and y equals square root of x. Let's have, let's first have the graph. Okay, this is y equals x square. This is y equals x square and the other one is y equals 
square root of x y equals square root of x and this is the region okay so it's very easy to compute the x intercept which is 1 if you say x squared is equal to square root of x it means x is either 0 or 1 so this is 0 or 1 so the rest is very easy integral from 0 to 1 upper function minus lower function gives the value of the integral integral from 0 to 1 upper function square root of x minus lower function x square dx if you wish to compute with respect to x the formula is upper function minus lower function if you wish to compute with respect to y then in this case right function minus left function dy you will exactly have the same answer which is 1 over 3 the third example if you solve this equality uh, you will find the intercepts as x equals minus 1 and x equals 3 okay these are intersection points so uh, if you sketch these two graphs you will see that 2x squared plus 10 2x squared plus 10 this is minus 1 this is 3 is something like this it passes through the point okay it passes to the point these are intersection points okay and this is y equals 2x squared plus 10 2x squared plus 10 what about the other one what about the other one 4x plus 6 it's a line passes to the point 16 it's something like this. it's a line actually okay so we should find the area between these two curves so the integral the integral from minus 1 to 3 from minus 1 to 3 upper function minus lower function which is 4x plus 16 minus lower function 2x square plus 10 plus 10 dx dx is very easy to compute this integral and the result is this what about the next problem determine the area to the left of f of y which is 3 minus y square and to the right of x equals minus 1 let's first have the related sketch let me first have x y axis again x y axis okay and let's say this is the point minus one okay so if you if you make them equal to each other three minus y square is equal to minus one if and only if y is either plus or minus two okay so these are the intersection points and we should draw the line x equals minus 1 this is x equals minus 1 what about the parabola 3 minus y square this is 2 this is minus 2 
is something like this. This is something like this, okay? So the area, we should find the area between the line and the curve. So, the area is equal to right function minus left function right function minus left function what is the right function 3 minus y square is the right function 3 minus y square minus left function left function is x equals 1 this is x equals minus 1 dy and y is from minus 2 to 2 from minus 2 to the point 2 and the result is 32 over 3. What about the next problem? Determine the area of the region bounded by the parabola x equals 3 plus y square, x equals 3 minus y square, and the lines y equals 1 and y equals minus 2. Let me first sketch these two, these two graphs, these two parabolas. This is x-axis and this is y-axis, sorry, x-axis, y-axis, okay, 3 plus y-square, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this is 3, and this is 2, okay? We should have y equals 1 and y equals minus 1, minus 2. This is y equals 1. 1. y equals minus 2. Minus 2. Okay, what else? So, what is 3 plus y square? It's something like this. What about the other one? 2 minus y square. This one. So, we have two parabolas. Okay. So, we should find the area between these two parabolas and the lines y equals 1 and y equals minus 2. Since th these two curves do not intersect, we will find the area with a single integral using the limits y is in between minus 2 and 1. So the area becomes integral from minus 2 to 1, integral from minus 2 to 1, 3 plus y square, 3 plus y square, this curve, minus right function, minus left function. So it becomes minus 2 plus y square dy. If you compute this integral, you will have 9 as an area. Determine the next example. Determine the area of the region bounded by determine the area of the region bounded by x equals y square plus 1, x equals 5 y equals minus 3 and y equals 3 actually it's not so easy to sketch the graph of this region we should be careful about the graph y-axis and this is x-axis okay so let's start from the lines y equals minus 3 and y equals 3 y equals minus 3 this is y equals minus 3 and this is y equals 3 the line y equals 3 okay what else we have the we have x equals 5 
let's say this is x equals 5 okay x equals 5 so and we have a parabola x equals 3 x equals y square plus 1 so uh, it's better to first find the intersection points since y square plus 1 is equal to 5 this is plus minus 2 so let's say these are intersection points intersection points of the line x equals 5 and the parabola y equals y square plus 1 so so we have something like this okay so what is the area the area between this is the area between the lines and the curves okay it cannot be the area since it's bounded by y-axis but in the problem it's not bounded by the y-axis it cannot be the area or it cannot be the related area okay so what is the area formula in this case a is equal to integral so we have three regions actually we have three regions the first one first region second region and the third region so we have we should have three integrals to compute this three the area of these three regions integral from minus three to minus two integral from minus three to minus two so it, this is region t 3 y square y square plus 1 minus 5 dy okay this is right function minus left function right function y square plus 1 left function x equals 5 plus plus integral from minus 2 to 2 this is region 2 right function minus left function right function is x equals 5 left function is the parabola okay the parabola y square plus 1 dy and the third region for the third region the integral from 2 to 3 the integral from 2 to 3 right function is in this case the parabola left function is x equals 5 y square plus 1 minus 5 dy if you compute all these three integrals finally you will have 46 divided by 3 okay it's all for the time being